Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll go ahead and create a bunch of fields for this position object. Right now, there is no positions listed down here. If you want to create new position, there is only one field available which we have created position title. This one we created when we were creating the position object. So this is the field which Salesforce gave you by default. Now, the next thing is we wanted to add a bunch of more fields. Now, if you see, you see this quick access menu. You can go ahead and click on this quick access menu and you can go ahead and create an object or you can go ahead and create the fields. So let's go ahead and create the field for this position object. So if you click on the new, it'll open this window, which will show you all the data types available. So this is a list of available data types. What do you mean by data types? Data types means the type of data that you want to store. If you wanted to store something like currency, like minimum, maximum salary for the position, we'll go for currency. If you want to store the date, like open date for the position, the close date of the position, then you go for date. So similarly, there are different, different data types available in the Salesforce. Let's go ahead and create the first field and name it as job description. So the job description, it's a, it's a long text. So we will select the text area because it will be bigger. Now the name, the field label means the name of that position, like the field name of that. So we'll call it as job description. And then you can consider it as a column name. Click next. This is the bunch of profiles. So we'll go ahead and click visible to everyone. Click next. And we want to add more fields. So we'll go ahead and create, click on save and new. And it'll open the again, same page. This time, let's say I wanted to figure out the minimum pay. So we'll go ahead and create the currency field and click next. And in this one, we'll go ahead and provide the min pay and this the field name will automatically pop up once you tab out from the field label so you don't have to provide the value of the field name click next and visible to everyone click next i want to add more fields so instead of clicking save i'll go ahead and click save new and i wanted to add the maximum salary range for this position so that will also be the data type of currency and go ahead and print next that will be the max pay and click next visible to everyone next and save and new I wanted to store the open date for the position so I'll go ahead and create open date so this is going to be a date type of data I wanted to store so I'll get a date here and name of the field you can say open date and it'll automatically pop up the field name once you click tab out from the field label click next visible to everyone again and safe Next thing, I want to say what kind of status the position he is in currently. Like I wanted to store is the position is in open status, closed status, all those. So I can pick from those. So then there is a data type available called the pick list. So you can go ahead and click on the pick list and click next. This is for the status. Now this asks you about what kind of values that position status can have. So it can have new position it can have open, it can have closed, not approved, you can add closed, not cancelled or cancelled. These are the, these are the status the position can be in and click next. Visible to everyone and save. So we have created a couple of fields for the position object. Now the difference that you will see, so if you click on the position object, right now you see two parts. One is the standard fields, the other one is the custom fields. The difference you'll see is there is something called as field name and the standard fields, which is very 
similar to the API name in the custom field. So you will see here that API name are ended with this underscore underscore C. That means this stands for a custom field that tells you that this is a custom field and this is the standard field. So these are the custom fields that we just created and these are the types. So this for the job description we selected text area. For the max and minimum pay we have currency. For the open date we have selected the date and the status is a pick list. Now if you go back and want to just click on this new button you'll see all the fields that we created so far. So this is how your current position looks like. So think it like a table. Now I will show you why you can think it as a table because if you click on this setup you can go to the place called schema builder. The so schema builder is basically has all the tables. So internally everything in here is tables as I told you. So if you wanted to see the one table that we just created, if you click on the position you will see this table. So this is the position table. Now if you click on this position table you can always maximize, maximize it by here. And now you'll see that these are the positions columns that I created. So it is a table and you'll see created by job description. These are the columns that are there. These created by last modified by we have not created them. These are the ones which Salesforce gives you whenever you create an object. Now in our next video we'll go ahead and add more fields to the position object and we'll also go ahead and create another object. Till then stay tuned and thank you.